Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Again, thank you for bearing with our technical issues as we get things worked out. Uh, be sure to hit that follow button. We are going to be doing this every single Sunday, bringing you some even more awesome StarCraft action. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to that. We are going to be hopping into game number three here in just a moment. Oops, not you. You are not ref anymore. Just me. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, let's take it over to our casters. Shaft and Kid Not giving us some excellent... Uh, gameplay analysis uh let's take it over to them to give us even more all right well we just uh get the players raced up and we'll be hopping into this game in a few moments guys yeah all right so we are going to be uh looking at catalyst ladder edition um this is not my favorite personally as a zerg player um what what do you think we can expect to see from penguin well, that's kind of funny that you say that, Chef, because I happen to like this as a Zerg player. It, uh, oh, yeah. it has a lot of bases that you can take. It's mm -hmm. kind of an open map that you can get really good creep spread. Mm -hmm. um, makes for a really good macro game. Yeah, fair enough, man. Um, so maybe that's why I don't like it. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> that could be. That could be. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, of course, Penguin, a very aggressive player like myself, I use a lot of his builds. In fact, um, love his drop build. Do you think drops are something we might see here or like some other form of all-in? Or do you think, you know, because this does play to such a macro? No, I, I honestly don't think it's going to be a lot of really aggressive play. It looks like um, mm -hmm. on this map, it's it's just great for macro. And I think it's great for macro for both of them. The third base is a little bit exposed, but mm -hmm. it's a pretty good map for uh, macro games. Yeah. All right. So we might as well go ahead and introduce the players because... Uh... There's still a, a fairly slow roll going on here. Here on the top, left-hand side, Catalyst Ladder Edition. He is our green Zergy McFerguson, no longer the purple Zerg. He has gone Hulk mode. It's Penguin. And in the bottom right-hand corner, playing for Rival Gaming, it's Kozan, who is opening up as a Reaper expand. He's trying to deny that third base from mm -hmm. Penguin. Can you blame him, man? The third base is definitely, like, that's all you can do with a Reaper. You can't kill the third. You can kill the drone who's making the third base. Um, so, so just by buying this little amount of time, you know, he fought, fought maybe 30 seconds this point. Does lose the Reaper, but 30 seconds worth it. Oh, I definitely think 30 seconds is worth it, especially, I mean, as a Zerg player and on this map, they, they want to get their extra drones going as soon as possible. And, um... So yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. Yes, indeed, man. All right, so Metabolic Boost going to be completing this. this is going to give Penguin the ability to get out onto the map just a little bit. Um, but there's Hellions on the field already. So not for long. Yeah, it looks like he's producing double Hellion and he also has a tech lab on the barracks. So let's see if there's, no, it looks like, um... Kozan's going to be producing some Hellions, and he's got a Liberator coming up. Yeah. Is, is this going to be Mac, man? Well, we'll have to see if he throws down another factory. Um, as of this moment, he isn't researching stems, so we'll just have to yeah. see what his next text choice is. Yeah, that was really where I'm where I'm coming from with it. Oh, there it is. There's the stem. Okay. So he's opening stem, and we mm -hmm. have... Penguin coming down the left hand side and looks like he may go down and try and take out some of the SCVs and the mules. We do not have a wall off from our Terran player. Yeah, and there's six Hellions there. So if he waits for these Hellions to run by, of course, the Overlord just saw that they're running, running. Um, he can do a lot of damage. He's just got to wait for those Hellions to get far enough away that returning wouldn't work. Yeah, he's, he's got those lings waiting to potentially go in, but it looks like now the wall off is going to be there, and we'll have to see if he's got enough lings at home to defend the six Hellions. Yeah. Do you really want to defend Hellions with lings, though? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. Now, if they were Hellbats, you would need bandits, but you can, oh. uh, you can definitely hold them off, but I think you're going to need a few more lings than um, yeah. he currently has. Yeah, he's sitting on 12 right now, but the lings are going into the natural and cancels that third base uh, for Kozan. The wings are now getting into the SCV line as we being pulled off of the, uh, the line there. Two Marines are there to do some DPS to tell you. So quick, they are back home. Yeah, Penguin is um, 
He's taken out seven of the workers and all of the Hellions had to come. So the six Hellions that uh, Kozan had out weren't able to get over on Penguin's side of the map and do any damage. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we've had seven workers killed by Penguin, two workers killed by Kozan. Kozan playing uh, standard to a fault, but uh, he's currently nine workers behind. Yeah, at this point, that that is definitely a problem when the Terran player is 35 behind. I know that uh, the Zerg player wants to be ahead, but I think the damage that Penguin was able to do could be a major difference in this game. Yeah, 10, uh, 10 more per difference right now. Hellion are coming into the stir trying to get some damage done. But there's not enough drones there for this Hellion run by to be worth it. He's trading map control for, what was that, a three drone? Four drone? At the end of this? Yeah, he's gonna end up taking a total of five off of the number of units. Well, there were already two dead. Yeah, there were already five. So he, yeah, he's only got like three on that push. So with six Hellions, I don't know again if that was worth it. Uh,. <laughs> I really don't think so, but we've got the Viking on the field. He's going to be hunting down the Overlord. And there's a scan into the natural to find out what's going on with this lair attack. So what do we have? Like we've got plus one missile attacks, plus one carapace, um, and Hydralisks coming out of the field. So we're going to be seeing that Hydraling Bane dynamic that uh, is becoming so popular in today's matter. Yeah, it definitely is in today's meta, and with... Kozan going bio, we're going to have to see how this plays out. He has his first Metavax out, so um, he is taking his third base. Right. And this is some really good creep spread by Penguin. It's not really going, like, left or right. He's just cutting straight towards his opponent. Yeah, he needs to do that. He needs to uh, get a uh, long pathway for the mm -hmm. Hydralist to move across and get down to the uh, map fairly quickly toward Kozan's side of the map. Yep. And the queen's coming out here to poop some more creep. All right, so very, 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 very macro game considering who is playing this. But at this point, we do have uh, some, some units up here at the top of the writing corner, running onto the creep, clearing off some of the creep. He has uh, canceled a fourth base as well. Yeah, he went up and he was able to cancel the fourth base. He didn't lose a unit uh, doing that. So this is going to kind of even things out as uh, mm -hmm. Kozan was able to take his third base. And our worker count right now is 65 drones to 53 SCVs. But you always have those nasty mules. Yeah, dude, mules are disgusting. They're worth like, what, three, four SCVs by themselves? Yeah, you notice I said nasty mules coming from a Zerg player. Oh, yeah. We do have a drop coming across the map toward what looks to be Penguin's main uh, base. And we're going to see if he's prepared to take this as he takes his fourth and fifth bases. Mm -hmm. So Infestation Pit, again, finishing pretty early for Penguin. Now, I think we're seeing a trend here. He, he does a lot of like crazy aggression, but he's always quick on that Infestation Pit. Yeah, that, that could be for upgrades. He's got his 2-2 two, two just finishing up mm -hmm. and probably be going to go into his quick 3-3 three, three, and then perhaps he's going to go into Ultralist. Yeah, and there is kind of a drop in the main. Really good uh, micro here by both players, but ultimately Kozan is going to be recalled back. And in fact, Penguin sniping the loaded medevac fur. Yeah, he happened to get the correct one because the one that he didn't get was absolutely empty and he got the full one. So that was, that was a good move by Penguin. Mm-hmm. And Kozan going to be forced to retreat back. He is sitting on three bases. His opponent's got the lucky number five. And what I find interesting is this middle middle base like expansion. Um, this is very very vulnerable to siege tanks coming from like that right hand side on the high ground. But at the same time, there's so much creeps right everywhere. What's Kozan really going to do? Well, I think that's just it. I, I think if he takes that middle base or even a left-hand base, they're in about the same position. But with the creep spread, um, Penguin's going to see anything that comes at him. And uh, currently, Kozan's going up the middle, trying to clear some of that creep spread. Mm-hmm. And basically, a Hydralisk getting pulled to deal with the medevac. As long as that medevac gets targeted, uh, it's going to be really hard for, for multiple drops to continue this assault. He's going to have to go home and repair it at the very least. Yeah, absolutely. We're uh, seeing Penguin now going into melee, and he's getting a hive. Yeah. 
So now with the uh, plus one melee, he's also going to be able to add on cracklings. And uh, those, the, the Adrenal Glands upgrade actually increases the, the effectiveness of run buys so much. Yeah, he's also getting his ground. So it looks like he's going to try and transition into Hydra mm -hmm. Ling Bane. And then let's see if he get there goes the Ultra Cavern. So he is going to be in the Ultra Cavern now that he has his hive done. Yeah, Ultra is about halfway there now. And uh, plus three Carapace actually being what he's going for instead of the plus two, plus two range. Why do you think uh, that is? For the Carapace, he, he wants to get that for the Ultras. And then mm -hmm. also, I, like I say, I think he's going to... Ooh, oh, hold that thought. Tanks completely on siege. Ling Bane, Hydra Army trying to take advantage of that. But ultimately, because then getting in position just in the nick. Yeah, he had a lot of bio in front of his tank, so I don't think Penguin felt comfortable moving into the yeah. tanks from there. Yeah, he's probably just going to have to sacrifice his base and do some kind of uh, counter offensive. Yeah, he's doing a counter with Lings and Hydra, and he's going to do the same thing. He's going to try and take out a couple of bases, and we do have Kozen pulling his army back, so it looks like it's going to be kind of tit for tat, and we'll take out each other's bases. Yeah, the tank's lagging quite a bit behind those, so this bio army a little bit forward, a little bit exposed, and uh, Peng's gonna have to be careful. Creep spread actually extending now into Kozan's uh, third base. Yes, and he he did not uh, wasn't able to take out his third base, and Kozan does have the fourth, but we have the upgrades finishing up for Penguin, so this is turning out to be an exciting game. Yeah, dude, this is uh, this is pretty intense. If I could get my current spread like this far on the map by thirty minutes, I'd be a happy, uh, happy diamond player. Yeah, that creep spread really does help Penguin. I, uh, if I don't do anything else, that's one thing that I enjoy doing is, is spreading that creep. But... Yeah, man, nice little run by here. Gonna pick up a Marauder and a tank, and uh, he's just gonna skirt right on in, up into the main. Main gets closed off. He could have got into that. Oh. Nice burrow and a sketch. But if he could have gotten into that main, it would pull the army of Kozen even further away from those expansions and open up some opportunities for attack. However, Kozen, you know, responded appropriately. Yeah, and as I mentioned earlier, he kind of sacrificed a few of his Hydralis so he could get into that Ling Bane Ultra. He's um, got most of his upgrades done. He is getting the Zerg Missile Attack Level 2, making mm -hmm. a lot of Lings. He's actually putting down a Spire. Probably going to Broodlords. Yeah, food loads are great. Basically, the ultralists are great at clearing the field, but when it's time to go break your opponent, you want food loads. Anyways, tanks just now getting in position. Tanks, you're going to target the ultralists first. Hydralists could be swinging in here as well, targeting down as much as they can, but there's still a lot of Zerg forces on the field. They are going to have to retreat, though. Yeah, we have the, the Hydralists that are a little bit slow to uh, retreat, but we have a huge supply difference between Penguin and Kozan. Uh -huh. Penguin's at 192 supply and Kozan's at 134. Yeah, dude, this is actually uh, a little bit uh, lopsided here, man. Penguin already down two games, but Kozan uh, struggling in this third one. Yeah, let's see if, uh, let's let's see where Penguin goes with this. He's, he's got his altar cabin on. I'd like to see if he's going to go Broodlords, but he, um, I'm afraid Kozan is just a little bit too far uh, back in supply. Yeah, well, we got plus three, uh, plus three range coming up here. Um, so Kozan, you know, not only is he behind in supply, but like his upgrades, they're getting there, but they're just not quite as good as Penguin. The once the plus two, uh, like for the tanks finishes, though, will, will be in a much better position. However, this attack going to be arriving before that happens. Ultra's going to be clearing the tanks off the field. Hydralis there to support it. And once these uh, tanks are dead, they sell planetary forces. Shall fall as well. Ultra's taking that out. SCD is going to be bleeding all over the field. And this leaves just uh, this drop left for Kozan, who, you know, will go ahead and tap out. Yeah, I think we have a series now. Yeah, dude, we have a series. It's currently 2-1, man. So, uh, what happened that game? What what lost that for Kozan? I think it was the, with the upgrades that Penguins was able to get and the, it was able to kind of switch back and forth between Hydralis, Ling Bane, and then ultimately get the, um, 
the ultralis out i think that was the switch there that really kind of changed the the game so you think really the ultralis made the difference there yes absolutely and i think he still has some other tech paths that he could have gone to uh, be a brood lord and festers but i think the ultra switch is what really happened and kozan was not able to get enough liberators out and mm -hmm. with the hydralis he was just able to take out all his army and just end the game all right cool andy what what'd you think of that game man Got on mute there. I thought it was fucking exciting. That was uh, intense. I always love watching Siege Tank Marines versus the Scourge of the Zerg. You know, I'm a Protoss player, so I kind of have to hate Zerg. That's just my thing. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, no, well played uh, by both no. those players. Penguin played phenomenally, able to bring that back. Uh-huh. Absolutely, man. And Penguin will be needing one or two seconds here. So what we'll do is we're going to um, go to a commercial. And if Penguin's not back and ready... We will go to the pause screen and we'll be resuming this as soon as our players have confirmed that they want to play. So guys, we'll see you on the flip side. Alright, thank you. Oh, I think I need to fix the chat there. It took up half the screen somehow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you, Chef and Kid Knot, for giving us some excellent gameplay commentary today. We will be going to a quick little break and then we'll be back with game number four. Stay tuned. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.